Hey there tubers. This video is going to be on the removal and replacement of the thermostat on my 2004 Link Belt 210 LX excavator. This has the Isuzu 6BG1T engine in it. It's a six cylinder engine. And uh, why I'm doing this today is because I pulled the radiator the other day uh, because it was leaking. And then I decided to do some preventative maintenance. Uh, I replaced the water pump, which I have in a separate video. And now I'm going to replace the thermostat. Uh, since everything's drained, this is a great time. Uh, this is the factory uh, thermostat. It's got just over 9,000 hours on it. So uh, it's a good time to uh, replace it. And it should be a quick and simple uh, process here. So here's the thermostat looks like any other one and the part number for it is a 113-770-0700 and you'll also need this gasket uh, they use kind of a, a rubber o-ring type gasket instead of a, a paper one which is great in my opinion and that number is a 1137 430 160 now, uh, what I'll have to do is uh, pull this radiator hose. These clamps I put on, uh, I like them better than the factory ones. The factory ones would have a seven millimeter head. These have a 10, so they're a little bigger. And uh, I'll get that pulled off. And then apparently I've zip tied this at some point. That's not factory, so I'll uh, clip those zip ties, get that out of the way. And then there's three bolts, one here, one here, and one back here. And those are a 12 millimeter to loosen those up. So that's all it should be to pull that housing off and then uh, see what's inside. So I'll get all that uh, pulled apart and be right back. All right, so I got all that uh, pulled apart and I got the bolts out. There's two longer ones and a short one. The two long ones go in the back here, up front, and then the short ones back in here. So now all I should have to do is to take my rubber mallet here. This is an aluminum piece, so I don't want to... There, just like that. Didn't want to damage that. So now that should just come right off. And voila, there's the thermostat. So, got a little bit of cleaning to do here. And then I'll uh, pull that out and... It was working fine, but it definitely looks used. So I'll get this all cleaned up and uh, get the new one put back in there and uh, show you what it looks like. So a quick thing to show you here is I was looking at this and there's rubber on both sides, but I was only given one gasket. Then I realized it's slotted. So I'll have to slide this around the lip of this so that it's on both sides of it. And then it'll sit in there. You can kind of see this is way deteriorated. I'm glad I'm replacing it. But it, uh, it's just one piece that goes over the lip. So I'll get that uh, put on and then we'll get it thrown in. And there she is all cleaned up. And then here's the other piece, got it cleaned up. I cleaned up around the hose mating surface so that uh, I get a good seal around that. So that'll be good. And then I've got the uh, gasket on the uh, thermostat now. That was uh, nice and easy. And just just drop in like so. And then uh, just put this uh, housing back over it. Like such. Drop the bolts back in and tighten it down. Now this is aluminum. So is the piece that it threads into. Uh, they didn't call out a torque spec on it. They were really quite tight uh, when I went to loosen them. 
but uh, I would suggest uh, not over tightening them just uh, because of the aluminum but uh, get them good and snug and that uh, is really the whole process it doesn't take any time whatsoever I think uh, start to finish if it hadn't been for the cleaning it'd be five minutes and I probably spent 10 minutes uh, just cleaning so total about 15 minute job here of course it's convenient not having the radiator in here but uh, it's really a pretty simple job and if you're interested in uh, the water pump or the radiator removal and replacement uh, I've got videos on that but if you have any questions on this uh, just leave them below otherwise I'll talk to you later bye bye